Figure 02 just did something that, until now, seemed impossible, and almost nobody saw it coming. In a quiet but powerful move, Figure AI has released a new update that could reshape everything we thought we knew about humanoid robotics. The kind of change that doesn't make headlines overnight, but soon, everyone will be talking about it. Their humanoid robot, Figure 02, has demonstrated a real-world ability that goes far beyond simple automation. This wasn't a choreographed routine or a carefully programmed demo. What Figure 02 just pulled off is full-on autonomous decision-making in an unpredictable environment, using only its AI-driven neural network and vision system to guide its every move. In the latest video, we see Figure 02 operating in what looks like a warehouse setting. It's not being hand-fed tasks, not being remotely controlled, and definitely not running on scripted commands. Instead, it's seeing the world around it through its cameras, understanding what it sees, and deciding on the fly what to do next. This includes identifying packages of different sizes, shapes, and even materials, determining where each item belongs, and smoothly sorting them in a way that looks surprisingly human. But what makes this even more remarkable is what's behind the scenes, or rather, what's not. There's no complex rules-based programming here. No layers of custom logic for every possible situation. It's just one single AI model, one neural network, that's been trained end-to-end. -end. This model receives raw camera images as input and outputs actions directly. It's the same idea that made large language models like ChatGPT work so well, but now it's happening in the physical world. And that's a huge deal. Because until now, robots weren't really thinking. They were just reacting based on pre-written scripts. Figure 02 changes that. This approach solves a major problem in robotics, real-world variability. In logistics, no two packages are exactly the same. Some are hard, some are soft, some are heavy or awkwardly shaped. Some sit flat, while others sag or roll. Traditional robots can't deal with this. They're built for repeatable, rigid environments. But Figure 02 is adapting in real time, using intelligence, not instruction. It's learning the way a human learns, by experience, not by being told exactly what to do. What's especially interesting about Figure 02's movements is how natural they are. It doesn't fumble. It doesn't jerk around like older bots. It adjusts its grip based on what it's holding. It moves with balance and fluidity. Even when dealing with squishy or unstable packages, it responds correctly. These details matter because they're what separate useful machines from fragile prototypes. And in this case, Figure 02's behavior is starting to look less like a robot and more like a capable coworker. And then there's the economic bombshell. Figure 03, the next version of this robot, is expected to be 93% cheaper than Figure 02. Yes, you heard that right, 93% cheaper. That's not just a price cut, that's a tectonic shift. When technology becomes radically cheaper, mass adoption becomes inevitable. We've seen it before, smartphones, computers, even cars. Now humanoid robots are heading down that same curve. What was once a futuristic luxury could soon be an everyday tool. Let's rewind just a few years. Back then, robots were still struggling with stairs and couldn't pick up anything more complex than a rigid block. They couldn't work in real-world environments without everything being perfectly set up. But Figure is changing that by shifting the problem from mechanics to data. They're training robots the way we train AI, by showing them the world and letting them learn from it. This is what allows a single neural network to replace dozens of custom systems. You feed it data, let it find patterns, and it gets better with every experience. It's the same reason AI is taking off in other fields. The difference now is, we're putting that intelligence in a body. And with more robots being deployed, Figure is collecting more data. That data trains better models. Better models mean more capable robots. More capable robots bring in more demand, which leads to more deployments. And the loop continues. This feedback loop is exactly how smartphones became ubiquitous. And now humanoid robots are stepping into that same flywheel of progress. Of course, there are still challenges. The real world is messy. Floors aren't always flat. Lighting changes. People get in the way. But Figure's approach is perfectly suited for these challenges. Because AI doesn't need everything to be perfect, it can adapt.
It can learn from surprises. That's what makes this different from the robots of the past. This is no longer about precision-engineered machines doing one thing perfectly. It's about general-purpose robots doing many things well, in environments designed for people. Imagine a warehouse where robots handle all the sorting, lifting, and scanning. Then imagine that same kind of robot helping around the house, putting away dishes, folding laundry, even helping the elderly. These aren't just ideas, they're becoming real. And the speed at which this is happening is astonishing. Every few months, Figure drops a new demo that blows away the last one. But this latest Figure 02 update isn't just a leap forward, it's a whole new chapter. It proves that robots don't need to be programmed for every tiny decision. They can learn, they can adapt, and that means they can scale. The big story here isn't just what the robot is doing, it's how it's doing it. With nothing but AI, vision, and a neural network guiding its hands and feet. Figure 02 is operating like a true digital worker. That's not just impressive, that's revolutionary. This isn't about science fiction anymore. This is real-world automation, unfolding in real time, and Figure is leading the charge. We're watching a company build not just a robot, but a platform for intelligent embodied AI. One that can go to work, learn on the job, and get better every single day. The future of robotics isn't coming. It's already here. And if you're not watching Figure closely, you're going to miss it. Because what Figure 02 just did wasn't a step forward. It was a giant leap, quiet, unexpected, but world-changing. And it's only just getting started. Please write your questions and opinions down in the comments section of this video. Like and subscribe to not miss news about AI and robotics. Then watch the next AI-related video that will appear in front of you. See you soon.